That's right. Back the line against the Heesher line to start this one. It's underway. Glad to have you with us on a Saturday. Tell us Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. Here's Jesper Brad in front. Trying to jam one on goal. It was knocked away. And scooped up by Colmu who brings it out of his own zone. Gains center. Lifts the puck in. Bounces wide to Vanacek. Loose side of the goal. He'll bat it back to the end boards. Flames are on it though. Here's Hannafin looking for a lane. There's a shot that goes just wide. Tanev picks it up. Plays it all the way around for his partner, Hannafin, pinching down the boards. Bumps it back to the point to Coleman. Coleman tries a shot. Bounces right over to Backman. Turning Coleman. Bit of a lane and a shot on goal. Turned away by Vanacek. Stopped the rebound, too. Flames clear the zone to center ice. Bounces free. Right to Miller, who carries back in to Foley. Long shot. Wolf got a piece of that. Steered it wide. Manjapani behind the net. Took a bump down low from Siegenthaler. Devils have a chance to work it out as Holla feeds it ahead down the left side. Carried in by Hughes with some speed and a glove saved by Wolf. Well, Hughes, Jack that is, gets a nice chance on. Defoley follows up, feeds it across. Hughes puts it in, playing break it up, long pass. Here's Montepani with a shot off the glove of Vanacek into the corner. He's going to get a shot from well out. Vanacek just gets a piece of that. Considering the Devils are so good on the power play it might have something to do with the afternoon we will see if this power play gets rolling here's Hughes breaking through stopped by Wolf snagged that one Timo Meyer plays it across bouncing puck Mercer can't corral it and the Flames get it out and here's a chance shorthanded and finally Sharon Gorbich able to get it has Weaver in front scores on the backhand what a play by Sharon Gorbich a shorthanded goal Watch this play along the boards. Here's Coleman gets it to him. Now there's a one-on-one -on -one battle right there between he and Palat. And he pulls away, goes backhand and roofs it. Beautiful goal with 18 seconds left in the first. But that is a prime example of what the Flames want from Sharon Govich. Four consecutive shorthanded goals was in one game back in 2018, December 29th against Vancouver. Period two is underway. Here's Anderson working it in front. Coleman hit a leg. They, oh, it somehow stayed out. I think Vanacek might have got a piece of that chance by Huberno. And what a great play here by Weger. He's going to try and throw it across to Coleman, I believe. And it goes right to Rasmus Anderson. He, that's what he loves to do. Join the rush. Here's the empty net. And he throws it right through the crease. Let's take a look. It goes off Heischer at first. Oh, yeah. Miller puts it down low for Heischer. Pushed to the boards by Tanev. Heischer stays in the battle. Got it in front. And Bratt stopped by Wolf. Coleman gets the puck to the line. Not out. Bratt with a chance again. Feeds it over. Heischer with a shot. Scores over the glove of Wolf. Turnover at the line when the Flames looked like they would be able to get out of the zone. And it winds up being a tie game. Right behind the net. Watch Tanev come in. Tanev is so good at pinning people against the boards. He sure spins away, gets it in front to Pratt. Then they track down the puck. There's a turnover at the blue line. Coleman can't get it out. Pratt back to Heesher, and he goes high short side. That is a beautifully placed shot. And it's 1-0. Jack Hughes, pressure, knocked down by Zeri. Weger gets it up. Zeri trying to settle it down. It's a two-on-one with Sharon Govich. Tumbling puck. Sharon Govich shoots. Stopped by Vanacek. Play back to the line. Gilbert shoots off the post. Bring it off the iron. When you look at this play, they just loft it into the neutral zone. Zeri gets it. And there's a first good chance from Sharon Govich. Now watch Gilbert from the point. Lazar back the other way. Zeri hassles. Lazar sticks with it. Feeds it around. Marino bumps it back. Shot of the traffic and chipped off the post. I think Lazar might have deflected that off the iron. Game. Devils almost take the lead. Lazar with the tip. Goalie's best friend. Keeps it 1 1. He sure has the jersey goal. Feeds it ahead. Bratt chips it across. Now it's worked in by Palat. Miller joins the rush. He sure trailing. Return there. Gets right in front. Got a weak shot away. Wolf down. Trying to cover up. Pinball's in. Ricocheted off traffic in front. And it's a 2-1 Jersey lead. 
some chaos around the Calgary crease, and somehow that winds up in the net. The puck, there it is to Brat. Now let's just see, or Pilat, excuse me. Let's see what happens here when the puck goes behind the net. Wolf is kind of knocked out of position. Coleman throws it in front and it goes right off the shin pad, I believe, of Brat. Let's take a look at this again. Watch Dustin Wolf. He's going to get pushed out of position with the feet of Heischer. I wonder if the Flames are going to challenge that. After video review, the actions of the Calgary player propelled the New Jersey player into the goal. Therefore, we have. So that was the question I had. Yeah, they feel yeah, that he was not in charge of taken down. That's and that is the argument that they make. Jack Hughes, Luke, the shot blocked. Lindholm got in the way. Puck stays in the zone. Jesper Bratt. Feeds it over. Jack Hughes lets it fly off the post, and the puck ricochets out of play. His brother Jack, and watch that when he rips it right off the crossbar. Tanev trying to do his best, as he always does. Trying to... Marino again. Nine minutes into period three. Steered in. Wolf out to play it to Hannafin. Out of his reach, though. Picked off by Holt. Pass in front. They score! Another turnover leads to a goal, and it's Timo Meyer putting it in to make it 3-1 to one jersey. Let's take a look at this. Wolf with the pass, and it's a bad pass. There's Holtz throwing through, and I'm not sure. Let's take another look. Dylan Dubé throws his head back as though it might be off him. No, I think it is Meyer. What well, do you think? It, it went off Tanev yes, first, and then Tanev, off the yes. Let's see here. We can... It goes oh, on Dube, Dube, you're right. Yeah. So that'll be Holtz's goal. Yes. I, his re I, I wondered, because as soon as the puck went in, I saw the reaction. After the replay, Kelly, you yes, pointed out with a good eye. Agree. No, not that I have a good eye, but I... Here's a chance now for Huberto. Right in! Stop by Vanacek. Good pass by Coleman to send Huberto in on the backhand. Got it to one. Good luck here for Huberto. Vanacek makes his 21st save. Puck back to the line, tumbles out as Hannafin had to back off. Anderson turning from Lazar, gets to center. In over the line, Anderson dropped it off, there's a shot, SCORE! Calgary! Top shot! One more game! Watch this play by Rasmus Anderson from his own zone. Wheels right through the neutral zone, weaves in, gives the puck to Cadbury from a sharp angle. Cadbury beats Vanacek, so gives the plane plenty of life with over five minutes to go. Rasmus Anderson taking charge right there. Played all the way around. Hannafin trying to get there. Chips the puck down low. Slides free. He sure has it. Shoots for the empty net. Scores! 90 footer for Nico Heischer seals it for our jersey with 37.7 to go. And then the puck, Noah Hannafin comes in there, Siegenthaler's in there battling. The puck comes loose, and look how everybody's backing up. So it gives plenty of time for Heischer to settle this down without even looking. Great so yep. they've shown a lot of character this season as Jersey has won now six of its last seven. And they did it with a two-goal second. Added to that lead and then put the empty netter home to steer home a 4-2.